What did you learn from game one? Um, you know, I think it was uh, uh, it was really good to see, and, and uh, um, from an operation standpoint, our, our guys operate, move around. Um, you know, I thought our systems were uh, were good, um, and, and and went about how we thought. Um, you know, I think uh, um, it, it was a it was a really good first step. Was there an emphasis to stay underneath on a lot of the throws? Uh, you know, it was uh, uh, credit to them. You know, they they had, uh, did a few things different in, in a couple looks and, and made us lay it off on on some things. Uh, you know, I credit Adrian for for staying patient and and you know not forcing anything and. Uh, you know, was kind of taking what they were giving us on that front, and and uh, you know we played a clean game. Missouri secondary looked pretty opportunistic in its first game. Learn anything from film? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they're you know it's it's, it's going to be a great challenge for us. You know, it's uh, you know they play a lot of one high defense, so it'll be um, you know a lot different than what we saw in week one. But uh, you know, excited for our challenge, and and uh, you know excited to get it in space. What did you learn about Adrian and? What he did well and what he needs to continue to focus on. Um, you know, I shoot. I mean, every every week for us since he got here has, has been good and, and getting more on the same page. I think even just after a game, I think I know and have a little better feel for some of the things that he likes. Uh, you know, some of the things he's really good at and some of the things he doesn't prefer as much. So uh, that's going to be a work in process, and and have really enjoyed uh, the dialogue and and kind of working through that with him and together. Taylor out now and Hadley sliding in there at guard. Does that kind of change the offensive line rotation at all? Um, you know, obviously with uh, with him it will, and and you know I just I felt so bad for TP of again just having to go through that and our hearts with him and uh, just an unbelievable teammate, unbelievable young man. So that was that was really difficult on all of us to see. Uh, you know, but, but but our guys will step up and, and Coach Riley does a great job of uh, making sure those guys are cross trained so that. You know, if and when something like this does happen, you know, you, it's next guy up and, and got to put, put the pieces together. What did you think of the offensive line's performance as a whole on Saturday? I mean, overall, I, I thought it was very solid. I mean, you know, there was a lot of little things that, uh, you know, that I think will get cleaned up and get better as we go. Uh, you know, those live bullets are just different, and it, it doesn't matter. You know, I think, I think we got better as the game went. Uh, you know, in, in some areas playing against, a, you know, a, a live four down front, so to speak, right? And, and not just, you know, scouting looks up and, and telling them where this is going to be. It's like, no, hey, you feel it now. It's real. It's, it's you know, full speed. And, and uh, you know, so that was really good for us and, and good to get under our belt. Live bullets. Did you come out of there convinced that DJ Giddens is in fact ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was pretty confident from the beginning, just because how he practiced, you know, and and I was happy to see him have the success that he did and get in the end zone for the first time, and and uh, he'll remember that forever. I told him that right afterwards too. <laughs> so how, good for him. The, uh, offensive line injury to TP. Does that make Andrew Lining kind of that much more important the rest of the way? Uh, his role, uh, you know, will be expanded. You know, it'll increase, and and uh, you know, it's it's been fun watching him this week. Um, he he's done a really good job, you know, and I think that'll continue and and provide again depth and, and competition, and and uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll make it work. What are your thoughts on how Missouri defended the run against Louisiana Tech? Uh, obviously, you know, I mean, it's it's going to be a challenge, you know, but uh, there's always. Uh, you know, there's always strengths and weaknesses to everything you do offensively and defensively, and and uh, you know how we execute our plan and how fast we play and staying on blocks, and it's it's going to be important because they're long, they're physical, and and uh, you know it'll be a good challenge. With the receiver rotation, we saw kind of what you envisioned the whole year. Is there a few guys that could still crack through? Oh, I, I think it's it's always going to be competitive. You know, I think you know if we. Uh, I think as of now it'll continue as it as it's been, but uh, shoot, those guys are competing, you know, uh, every day, and and uh, I think that, you know we got probably six, even seven guys that you know we'll, you know we'll see the field. Colin, how does Hadley Panthers use and placement now affect what you do at the backup center position? Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know like I said we're we're, we're kind of cross training some guys, Andrew Line game being one of them, and and. Uh, 
you know, but obviously uh, Hadley's tremendous, you know, and, and Hayden's done a great job, you know. I mean, uh, you know, Hayden's done a great job as well. And so, uh, you know, having both those guys on the field, you know, n none of us is, are going to be, you know, sad with that. So. You're the only one, obviously, that was still <coughs> the last time you K-State played Missouri, you were here. Um, <laughs> has that talk, has there been any talk about the rivalry between K-State and Missouri with you and, and, and your guys? You, you know, I, I think we've got a lot of, uh, you know, we got players from the state of Missouri, you know, that know and, and remember those days. Um, you know, uh, some do, some don't, but again, it's, uh, you know, we have not hyped or downplayed that either way, right? I mean, it's a, it's a big time, big time opponent at home and it's the most important because it's the next one. Last time they were here, you were playing, and now you're the <laughs> offensive coordinator. It means I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> it means I'm getting older. No, it's uh, it, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I was a Big 12 kid growing up, so watching you know watching big old Big 12 football was was always good. Any emotions now where you can see your name on the stadium? I <laughs> uh, you know it, it it'll hit me you know uh, here and there, but um, again it, it, you know just. Uh, Got to keep moving forward and, and taking the next step. That's the most important thing. Now Jake Rubley handled his second so I thought Jake did a great job. And, and for his first minutes, you know, uh, I thought he was decisive. You know, I thought he uh, played fast and, uh, you know, was confident and, uh, you know, took advantage of his opportunity, you know, and that's uh, something that, uh, you know, those first minutes are, are always big. So, you know, when you're trying to, Say a cadence, and your tongue sticks to the roof, tongue sticks to your, the roof of your mouth the first time. It's a, you know, that's a that's an interesting feeling. <laughs> so he got that out of the way.